What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. And so to pick up where we left off last time, we fought a bunch of battles against the Prussians and then the Persians have entered the mix and they've sighed forth and want to give me a good old reason for them to attack me and I think I'm going to do exactly that. So let's fight. Because I've got, you know, howitzers with quicklime to just decimate their armies on the field. Um, I don't, it's a couple of weak units, but they should be okay. Just keep them on the uh, on the flanks. I usually put. I rather have weak units on the flanks uh, rather than the centre, because my centre breaks in half. That's a lot more difficult to recover. You can just roll up a flank. Oh, this is a beautiful position. So I'm gonna put two two units here, looking across the plain. Set up my center. Position my other unit of another unit of uh, artillery. So let's say these two guys. It's a good job, really. I've got lots of cavalry because you've got a routing Indian esque faction like the. Like the uh, the the, Ameri the Indians, uh, it's very very handy having forces that can having forces that can chase them down. So I probably want to put, put my provincial scouts something like this, just just to protect my flank against this city. So I do have my cavalry if I need them. Then let's put one unit of howitzers facing that direction with quicklime. Another unit facing that direction. Well, I may as well have them fire round shot at the start. Let me get my general in the centre, who looks mighty familiar. Holy moly. Yeah, they are within range of shrapnel, so I'm going to want to do that with all of them. Well, they're doing counter battery. But shrapnel shot, even though it's just out of range, the fact it explodes and it carries on will be enough to help me out. I think I really, I think I have them just firing quicklime because they're leaving me. Halt fire at will. Halt. Fire at will, a quick line. There we go. It's made some of the uh, some of the uh, our cavalry, uh, the artillery route. What I do not like is this impassable terrain, because this is also impassable. So I can run... So I, need, I want to change my position. Good, good, good. Lots of routing. Or are they just generally just going to orientate themselves to the right? In which case, then. Unlimber the artillery. Start to bring them over. my The wing over this direction. Start to bring my cavalry over this way, too. Nomads. Let's get these chaps to deploy stakes. Let's 
So we do have some infantry coming this way. I do want to keep one unit of artillery hitting that 12 pounder. All these guys do have they got some muskets they're still just going to walk straight up into the barrel of my guns let's get my artillery in place then they're ready to fire canister shot These guys, Orta, so they're just militia, effectively. There you go, rise up. Unlimber with canister. Pick away the Fellaheen. If they do charge into my line infantry, which looks like that's what they're going to do, my guys should stand. Let's bring this unit, these units of line over here. Come an absolute charnel house of pain. Stand a bit more oblique to that unit of artillery. And to be honest, I might need to send these guys. You hit the artillery. My mortars hit the uh, troops in formation. And then let's get. Charge this unit of Falaheen. Look at him run. It's coming in of light dragoons up. Oh, 
Oh wow, they've charged into my scouts, so they're probably not going to go very well, do very well. So which one of these guys has the guns? Turn them off. Looks like this whole area is pretty weak, so I might send in my cavalry. Get my quick line guys to focus on some units that won't be engaged. Peel one of them off to start chasing down. Let's get this Junior Dragoons up here. Chase them down, halt my artillery, my howitzer fire. Turn off fire a well. Halt fire on you guys, my other Dragoon unit. Yeah, chase down the levee. You're chasing down the musketeers, you're going to chase down this levee. Which will probably take you forever! These guys are chasing down the musketeers. Good! Everyone is being utilised. There's some general's bodyguard. No, either to be me, my heart is to be accurate. All false move, and they could hit my calf, but let's see what happens. Miss. Oh no, slight hit. Ah, that's fair enough. Okay, go ahead on the Israelis because there's 11 men left in that unit, so it's not a pro not a super priority. I'd rather destroy this unit. So we're in on the general, got some infantry support, halt. Hopefully I'm not too late and there aren't already shells in the air. And there you go, we're just picking away at these Israelis. general continue because obviously you want to finish them off but take this cav unit chase down that unit of musketeers 
And then you just chase down that unit of two of fangies. This is going to be devastating. Just chop, 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 chop. So many deaths due to my cavalry. Hop over to here. They probably they probably are going to get away because my cavalry's bugged out. This Univis Aurelius is going to escape. The general's going to escape, so the all that's left is this. They also would escape, but they've been quite badly mauled. I don't think they're going to want to try it again. Good. Three hundred fifty-two lost for three thousand seven hundred forty-one lost. Those are the exchange rates you want. Ah, as is tradition with Indian factions, though. So they are going to land an invasion force. Oh, or have they landed it? That's the the critical thing. I don't know if they have actually landed it. Let's see what forces I have in America. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have... Oh, there we go. They've had a bit of a break. They've had a bit of a route. The They've had a bit of a route, but now they're fine. Ready for so I think this army's probably going to head west. Start to threaten Munich. But firstly, so let's go over, to, go over to here. So this was the army that fought, so let's give you replenishment. Make ready. Let's get you replenished. Yes. Let's get you in a good position nearby for support. You two units of something. Two units of infantry, probably. Well, two units of Republican Guard it is. So did my... F so, I don't know, my fleet hadn't arrived in time. So those all that Maratha invasion force is going to successfully make it where, where they want it to go. So let's take these guys, replenish them and drop them off Forward! Istanbul here. Weaver's Cottage. Works on strike in the Rhineland, but now they're okay. Your humble servant, sir. Troops under recruitment, spreading out. Okay, but let's go to the Americas. Do I have a good navy? I do. Ish. Clipsby Colville. Lot, uh, some fourths, some fifths. A lot of fourths. My seconds are going to need to need to do some work. So let's check if I've got anyone, anyone else. Oh yes, a couple of heavy first rates. Just get some more. Just get a load of firsts and. Second rate ships of the line. So let's take this navy over here to Yorktown to pick up those two first rate ships of the line. Make sure there's nothing else that could be very useful. Actually, before we dive straight into that combat, I'm going to do a bit of, bit of investing, a bit of money spending. Just to make sure I'm building up my economy. But by the looks of it, everything's got money, has had money spent on it. So let's go check over here. So I've got almost yes, an army sir. doing nothing. Fix the pleasure gardens, fix the dried up. Your humble servant. Replenish this army, bring them to sit on to this hill here. Forward. Because ultimately, yeah, once we take Brussels and if we take 
Well, actually, I might just auto resolve that. Yeah, that's a definite way to resolve. Battle that. Then let's get you over here to lay siege to Württemberg. Maintain siege for now. Because ultimately, we're squeezing them in. Squeezing them in. And let's build with you. Let's build the church school. Good, good, good. You're ready to rock and roll. Probably want to get you yes. to occupy Belgrade. Yes, sir. So yeah, I'm on. It's getting towards the death throes of the uh, of the the Prussians. So I just need to fight them on the field. I think. So let's get you into Hanover. Let's get you into, well, you're replenishing? Yeah, you are replenishing, good. Let's get you into a workshop. Let's get you into here. So, Strasbourg is safe, but I'm going to leave them here to replenish. Oh, I think I'm going to go... F Okay, firstly, what I might want to do is go over here and check the... So I've got to be wary of these regions. So I might want to send... My sloop up here is a picket. I'm probably going to get picked off by something, um, but them's the brakes. Path block, path block, successful mission. Trait gained, I think the old Winthrop, corporate and gold braid. Still expanding Anadoya, yeah, go on, be happy. At the ready. Daniel Haskett is moving up. Damascus is gradually becoming uh, Protestant, very slowly. As is Jerusalem. As is Egypt. Okay. But yeah, I think fundamentally I just need to push on all fronts. Oops, sorry, my mouse got a bit stuck there. But yeah, so this army, I want to push this army to Munich, this army to Prague, this army to Breslau. Maybe. Maybe if I recruit just a bunch of line to then this army can I can have build a Berlin garrison and strike south and hit Dresden as well. Eventually, the way I defeat all these Prussian stacks in the field might be to uh, defeat their, destroy their, um, or to capture their cities. Could well be it, but before we do anything too crazy, just to make sure I don't forget, let's take this navy and Eclipse be Corvo. They're going to sail from Yorktown and engage the Persian fleet. So you got yeah, a bunch of fourths, some fifth, six sloops, brigs. Should be okay. <laughs> But you know, this is me, this is exactly what I do. Okie dokie, so let's. So let's group you up, line of stern. Something more like that. So, while you have a lot of bigger ships, they do just have lots and lots of normal ships. I like to do a fourth rate to be the 
the the standard. Got the marines on board. Fifth, sixth, fifth, 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 fifth. Cool. But yeah, hopefully if I can sail along quite nicely along here, I can set myself up in a position to just blow the hell out of them. And I'm okay with making the turn, because usually what happens is my fast chips make the turn first. And then my slow ones can't catch up, but how I've got them organised, my heavy ships are going first. And then my slow, and my other ships can catch up. Because even though in re reality, I think it's something to do with fast ships should generally sail a bit faster than big ones, than small ones, I, th I think. Um, that doesn't happen in game, so. And I'm not interested in capturing any. Um, I very much want to sink them because this is carrying an invasion fleet to use against my possessions. Thankfully, they're sailing right at me. But at least I'm getting my, my heavy ships in first. So they've broken off one fourth rate. He's probably going to get some cheeky, uh, cheeky raking shots off. But importantly, our ships are whoa, whoa. <laughs> Maneuvering at three times speed is a dodgy business, but I'm pretty sure we should get. Oh yeah, yeah, we should get within a position to shoot on that fourth rate. Might be close though. Actually, they're doing some. They're not running and doing some fancy maneuvers. Well, not fancy maneuvers, but you know. There we go. So he's. Attacked, and then we are going to fire a rolling broadside. Ooh. Poor devils. So, pretty much want to kind of sail in this direction. Okay, so Thunderer's got the broadside off, then here comes Iris, who may or may not be able to engage that fifth. Either way, this is a brand new battle fleet, so they are a bit inexperienced. Steady, lads. Steady. They've managed to destroy their first gun. I mean, I know broadsides do more damage, and I should really be micromanaging my broadsides, but I just really don't feel the need. When I mean, you've got so much fire... Oh god, was that a piece of wreckage? A sail wreckage that got blasted out. Oh, Isakura is going to be destroyed, probably. Well, to be honest, I'd like them all to be destroyed. Yeah, scurvy dogs. There we go. And it's just when the ships get so big, they start to effectively have a dismasting effect. Because their sh their uh, their shots fire so high that they do hit the masts and the sails and the rigging and such like. There you go now. Sapphire is going to enter the enter the mix. I might put a broadside on Dean. No, he's not going to be ready. So I've lost three shots. They all missed anyway. Sinking. Such a firepower overmatch. 
And I will chase them down wherever they go. If, for whatever reason, I don't destroy them all. Uh, you know, some usually, some might get away. There's always a chance that that can happen. Yeah, they're trying to tie out my formation, but it's just not worked. Let's fire a small broadside with six guns. Let's do a bit of chain shot just to slow it down. Do I just want to do that? It's starting to curve into the wind, but I don't think I've got much choice. So Issachar has finally managed to interrupt my formation. But at what cost? be very careful because what we don't want is to blow up any ships when they're next to mine. Oh, now he's on the wrong side of the ship, so these guns are all ready to rock and roll. Oh, Dean's looking very unhappy. Let's sail these guys here. Yeah, if if they're in the if they're in the melee, then fire chain shot. The top of the main mist on this lad. <laughs> Look at this poor little bugger. Got no mass at all. Briggs surrendered. broadside right. I'm going to shoot the hell into you. 773 men, 189. They're trying to board me. Poor old Sapphire. Okay, let's get back to round shot. Sapphire, you did get surrounded on your own. Oh wow, D 
Dean's really getting a bit knackered. The right broadside is atrocious. Get out this way. It's got, got two guns. This one's okay here. Oh, exploded ship. Concerned on fire, so. You're on fire, you're on fire. You're on fire, you're okay. <laughs> okay. Let's keep an eye on these ships, they're all on fire. Fire's out on you. Fires out on you. That's fair enough, you are on fire. Put some holes in that fifth rate. Fire will. I think all the fires are out. Out this brig. Let's try and knock a mass down as we're fighting equivalent level ships. Well, not equivalent level, but you know, equivalent uh, class ships. 
Rolling broadside straight into those lovely masts. Got your admiral. So all my ships on a bit of an expedition. Surrendered, 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 surrendered. Okay, who's on fire? You. Fireable off. And you're on fire. You're still fireable off though. But you could well blow up. You've been on fire for a very long time. She's probably trying to withdraw though. Yeah, get everyone set to fire chain. Because I want to try and knock some holes in her mast if she tries to flee. Because if we can take her, then that's that uh, army neutralised. That's exactly what we want. There you go, everyone's fires are out, which is nice. She has fired some chain shot, some, uh, yeah, she has fired some chain shot into my ship too. But I've got, I've got bow chasers, don't I, in this for heavy first. That I do. So I'm going to keep bumping holes into her mast. Or at least I hope, if we don't miss... Fourth rates have probably got a good chance at catching up. You can pick it with fourth rate all you want, you can pick it resistance. So this is why having some lighter ships can probably come in handy, chase them down. But you know. These things happen. I'm not going to have a. I don't like having battle fleets with uh, too many small ships in them because it offsets my firepower. Oh, there we go. So she's deployed a sail. She's a, she, to get a cheeky little volley off. Allowed me to get closer. So as this devil gets closer, let's pivot you now. Slam the brakes on. Should slow you down a bit. Continue. Unfortunately, she is very close, so let's also... Ah, nuts. But we'll chase her down. We're not going to let... She probably have my... Could have got my fifth rate to, uh, to pivot around to the side, fire a blast of... Lost seven. Captured... Ah, oh, no, there you go. None remaining. So what ones have they got? Keep the fourth, don't want the fifth, don't want the fifth, don't want the brig, don't want the sloop, don't want the brig. So add those to my fleet, sink the rest, get into port, and get fixed. Lovely, but looking at the timer, I think we've reached the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.